So back in 2020, there was a campaign that was started as Trafficking Hub uh, that was actually targeting MindGeek and Pornhub and other websites. Uh, there was a lot of attention pushed on it. I remember I had just really moved to Houston. I really didn't have any social media presence at all. If you know it, I've been off of social media for over 10 years before I started the podcast and with the nonprofit work. Uh, but long story short, uh, Pornhub had quickly deleted like 10 million suspected videos overnight and that's just Pornhub. of course you have all the other sites people that watch porn you know that there's several out there but it was admit the allegations that there wasn't any consent of age that could put videos on there right so they have been going back and forth there have been lawsuits and people coming out to say that some of the videos that were allegedly on there because I still think they're going to court for it, were of underage people. Um, so it was crazy. So with human trafficking and sex trafficking being at an all-time high, I think it's something that really gets glazed over. People don't really pay a lot of attention. I know it's, it's heated up a lot in Florida, a lot of the places along the coast. Uh, but to get to the story, as of August 4th, uh, Visa and MasterCard have cut off the ability to pay for porn on Pornhub and MindGeek. So anything that's connected to those two, regardless of their entities or the main site, the payment will not be accepted by Visa and MasterCard. So now they're starting to look at Discover and waiting on them to give a response or cut off the payments. Well, here's the backstory to it. Over 50% of their revenue came from people with credit cards or debit cards that had, a, had set up automatic payment to these sites now the issue is becoming is that since they do not make you present a consent of age form with these particular people here's the sick part of it you could very well be watching a uh, underage boy or girl man or woman or well, boy or girl because these would be underage kids in a video in the name of porn now, that's a disgusting fact because you got to think, I, I mean, hell, I don't know anybody, honestly, that has not watched porn. But the fact that some of these things you wouldn't know until it starts to get a lot of attention around it, that they didn't have a consent of age. I thought for a fact, especially growing up, that, you know, shit, you had to be 18 to do porn. At least I thought. But you got to think of a lot of major cases that are coming around underage people being exploited in a sexual way. You know, whether whatever your thoughts are in regards to R. Kelly, other people that have alleged had sexual contact with people that were underage and it was forced upon them or they was just a minor that should wasn't of the consensual age of sex. Right. I think this is a huge win. Uh, this is really going to impact the industry because you have to think they didn't even mention of how much money that they have made. But for just Visa and MasterCard cutting off the ability to even pay for porn, that has now flipped 50% of their revenue. Here's the crazy part, you know, a lot of these websites don't take cash out, they don't take chime, they don't take preload cards because if you know a little bit about the game, you're able to maneuver around those payments and able to basically have free membership to it. But I think it is also bullshit that these major corporations that are pushing sexual exploitation, regardless of the age, does not require for people to have a consent of, hey, you are watching two legal participants of it. Because here's the sick part about it. You don't even know if this is a 13, 14, 15 year old boy or girl that you're watching have sex you feel me and you would think that you know that they're going to make money especially in this internet era where people would rather watch somebody have sex than actually go out and actively pursue it but to have a little decency to say hey we know this is a major issue this is as a company we can come out and say that no matter of the videos that we have everybody is of the legal age to have sex on video and they're able to get paid for their content for them to come in and just randomly screw up 10 million videos to me is an eye opener because what made you all one select those videos and two which other ones are there because if you randomly screw up 10 million how much else is out there we're talking about mainstream porn we're not even talking about 
the underground dark websites that's out there. So I think this is huge. You know, it's a lot of shit that's really going on out there. I may be giving another story on this, but these are things that I would like to touch bases on and tap in with my people because these aren't black, white issues. This is a American. This is a global issue. Sex trafficking, human trafficking is at a complete rise. Everybody can be under attack. It's not just women are getting grabbed. Men can be grabbed. It's You have to just really stay mindful and vigilant of the things that are going on around you no matter what's going on but salute uh to exodus uh which is the people that are actually going after Pornhub and other um moralist companies that re regardless of the fact just want to make the dollar and does not care about the people that could actually be impacted. And there's people that are coming out and saying that this is them in the video. And at this particular time, they are not of age. So this is a major thing. This is something that I feel like mainstream media doesn't truthfully uh, care enough about or even care to cover. But I'm going to give my attention to it a little bit more. I actually salute the women that have sent me these type of videos and this type of content. Uh, I won't neglect it. I would definitely continue to cover things like this when I actually research it myself, but also when you women actually send it to me. Uh, so major salute to you women that actually got this to me. Uh, let me know your comments. Is this something that's going on around you all? I know human trafficking and sex trafficking is at an all-time high. Are you all seeing it kind of filter down and not just on the porn stuff, but just in general? Like, what's your thoughts on it? What's your focus? Is there any community things that you're doing to really impact that? I'm not as knowledgeable. I know what's going on down here in Houston. I know what's going on when I used to live in Orlando. The shit crazy, so everybody stay vigilant. Always be mindful of what's going on. Check your cars for trackers, all types of shit it's a cold game out here you never know when somebody's gonna try to catch you slipping as always long live cc uh stay vigilant i'm out